I joined the Navy not knowing what I wanted to do, uh, which field I wanted to get into. When I joined in 2008, women weren't being assigned to submarines yet. I didn't remember writing this, but during our basic training, I wrote home to a friend after we had learned about submarines, like an initial introduction to them, saying like, oh, it'd be really awesome, uh, really unique to do that, but, you know, only for men, so too bad. And then once I was starting to get interested in submarines, once they were open to women, she said she found that letter. Once I had already been selected for submarines, it reminded me like, oh yeah, you wanted to do this four years ago. <laughs> I'd never been underway on a submarine before and it was a lot bigger than I expected and a lot more complex. We stay submerged for most of our underway time, so on the days when we get to uh, surface the ship, dive the ship, drive on the surface, any day we get to operate the ship more. It's more tiring, but that's what you remember. Power down two, two, and three. Power down two, two, and three. Whether you have it coming to a submarine before or not, there's a large sense of independence. When uh, a submarine goes underway and a submarine submerges, it relies on the crew on board to take care of the equipment, take care of the ship enough to surface again and get yourselves home. So I think that's really unique to the submarine community. And have you heard of one? Alarm one. Alarm one. I actually need to go answer that. <laughs>